There may be no tournament on the planet that so supremely tests a golfer's ability than this one. An under par score? Not a given for the winner. US Open rough? Oh yes, that is very much a thing. Narrow fairways, tight landing areas, rock hard greens? Yes, yes, and yes. Mistakes must be kept to an absolute minimum. This is the most demanding test in golf. This is the United States Open. EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's opening round coverage of the third of golf's four majors, the United States Open. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. Tommy Fleetwood, runner-up to Brooks Kepka in 2018, is the leader. He's on the move early at five under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, ready to try and win that sterling silver U.S. Open trophy. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. He's got 95 yards to the front, 118 to the hole. Pin sitting on the left half of the green. Gonna have to try and give this a good thump to fly it to the hole. Yeah, that was going to be tough to fly that all the way to the hole out of the bunker, and this is going to come up a good bit short. That one just going to sneak on by. All right, that's in for a bogey here to start the round. He'll drop back to one over par. Moving on, we come to the par four second. Yeah, that's in the fairway, so maybe a chance for a bounce back after that opening bogey. From about eight feet. Matt got that up too high and he didn't want to come back. He'll go ahead and finish that off. It's in for his bogey. He is very quickly down to two over par. Now on the third tee and getting set to tee off on this par four. <laughs> Nothing to fault there, safely in the fairway. Second shot straight ahead and we go to Iona Steven. One, two, two is the number. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely need to account for that. Gonna have to accelerate through the sand here to give this enough carry. Okay, pretty big swing necessary there, and that's not all that bad from that far away. Mm, 
that's going to slide on by. That one in for a bogey here at the third. And just like that, he'll fall to three over par. Well, from any distance, that's pretty good, but from that far out, couldn't ask for much more. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four, and he'll hold steady at plus three. Up next, a par five as we reach the fifth hole. Ball's back in the fairway. I guess it's better to be lucky than good. At half the equation on that shot, the distance, not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark, and, well, let's see how good you can chip. A dead-on look here for Birdie. Yes, a good read. It's a Birdie here at five. Now at the sixth hole. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Set down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll remain at two over par. And the tee box ready to go at the par four. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. 144 left to the hole, pin sitting back right. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. This one gonna require some pace back up the hill for birdie. Well, that's good touch right there.
that one finished off, it'll be a par here at seven. And he'll stay right where he is. Up next, we get a look here at the par four eight. And this will be just fine as that'll get down into the left center portion of the fairway. He'll be factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. Well, Iona's had a good look. Now this for birdie. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. Fancy the chances of getting this close. Mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par, and he'll remain right where he is. Hole number nine, getting set to make the turn. That's a good looking shot just left of the flagstick and he'll have that left for his birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. I'm getting set to tee off on this par five. That will do just fine. Still well over 300 yards to the flag, so getting this to a good number, the key here for his second. Mm, that is straight into the thick stuff. Frank, what's the best way to play this bunker shot? Well, this fourth shot here, Rich, he's got to get that ball first, that lip in front of him. Make sure you carry that. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th, and he'll stay at one over. Awesome tee shot right in the middle of the fairway. Second shot now. It has to be careful because that breeze can be tricky at his back. You don't want to over club. Twelve feet still to go. He 
You betcha. What a roll there. That is in for a birdie. Moving on, we come to the par 4 12. That one looking a little right. Just what you want to do, land it in the fairway, get a little bit of roll out, and that is a good shot. Routine about that one. Well done to roll it in for par. And he'll stay at even par. We're at the 13th hole now. That will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. Just under 80 yards to go now as he'll decide how to flight his second. Just like that, it's a birdie here at 13. T shot here at the par four. Talking about pinpoint accuracy off the tee, 12 for 12. Now that is impressive. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. That's not exactly ideal, far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. That is going to be tough in there. That is into the heavy stuff. Now from an awkward lie, a second to the par three. Ten foot putt left. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15, and he'll remain at one under par. 
Three holes remain as we come to the par four 16th. Yeah, good swing and a good result as that is safely into the fairway. Maybe a mystery there, and that curls by to the left. Okay, that in for a bogey at 16. And that's going to move him back down to even par. Deep into the round now at the 17th hole. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. A look here for Birdie at 17. And he's got to be happy where this ball wound up. Just slightly uphill, looks almost dead straight. Oh no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. No problems there, that's par here at 17. And he'll stay at level par. Now the par four needs a good tee shot. Well, it's a rarity on the PJ Tour, but a perfect 14 for 14 off the tee. This has been a marvelous exhibition. He needs to be mindful of the breeze here as he sets for a second. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, you really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Oh, yeah, long distance for Birdie here at 18. And that will mean this is an opening round of 69. That's some good playing. So if nothing else, Frank, this a big thrill to get that first round in as an amateur at the U.S. Open. Yeah, the USGA and the RNA have done so much for the amateur game, Rich, so to play in their championship, uh, that's a huge honor. 